Jacksonville, Florida. We've made our annual pilgrimage up. The lens is all foggy. Take two, Jacksonville, Florida. My glasses are foggy now, but we've made our annual pilgrimage up to 13th floor. It's hot season kickoff. Mary's here. Before we head over to 13th floor, we're gonna check out Ardwolf Brewing Company. This is the no one can hear you scream from space prom release. It's chocolate, ice cream, milkshake, imperial stout. Oh my God. It's good, but it's got a much harder aftertaste than I thought it would. <laughs> so we're at the, the No I Can Hear You Scream in Space. It's great. This is the back room of the brewery. Nice space. College football on. This is what it looks like in here. This is a black and beautiful. It's Imperial Stout. It's a collab with Main and Six and Shades of Hops. And this is an El Mariachi. It's an imperial stout with cacao, nibs, cinnamon, vanilla, and ancho peppers. Cacao, cacao. It's smooth, really don't even taste the peppers much at all. It's very subtle. And the black is beautiful. Next stop up, wings and things, the hurricane. Wings up. We've wrapped at hurricane wings, some of the best wings in Florida, hands down. Next up, heading to 13th floor Jacksonville. We have arrived and we are way early, about an hour before doors. You can see the signage outside about social distancing, maintaining six feet in between people. And you should stay six feet away from those monsters. The theme this year, essentially Bloody Mary. On the website, they do have like a video package for like classic monsters, but then they have a subsection letting you know the theme itself, Bloody Mary. There are social distancing rules in effect at 13th floor, as well as copious signage around COVID-19 warnings. You need to get your temperature checked before going in, and you do need to wear a mask on premises. The monsters are all wearing masks as well, including those that have a mask mask on. They have a face mask underneath their mask. And while we have our first guests waiting in line, should note, tonight, just like last night, is sold out. Unlike other years, this year, much more limited crowd due to COVID. Very recommended to get your tickets online before arriving here because chances are before you arrive here, the night is going to sell out. And with the limited crowds also comes much more space adventuring as you go through the house. 13th floor and these independent haunts, much different than the Halloween Horror Nights vibe where it's conga line. These are normally pulsed out in the house this time, they're virtually guaranteeing that you're going through the houses by yourself. With your only group. With your only group. Also different this year, security measures for bags, no pocketbooks allowed in. You can only bring in a clear bag or a clutch that's uh, within like a certain parameter. You want to be able to check the 13th floor website before you come and you think that you can bring in your usual pocketbook and everything because you'd be waiting on what potentially could be a longer line due to the spacing and the pulsing and then end up not being able to get in the door. Here's some more official verbiage on the bags and items that you can bring in. Nickel Wise is back this year adorning the ticket booth. It, uh, his hair looks like it might be a little impacted since last year but I think it's a mess to not have a giant mask on Nickel Wise. Then again I guess should monsters be socially distancing? And suddenly, it was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> Off and put away. This includes video recorders, cameras, and most importantly, <laughs> cell phones. Get your photos with our icon characters now, because there are no photo ops in the yeah, are my good friend. Using these devices in our house will result in immediate removal from the attraction. 
Oh. It's cheap seats. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford the good ones. I can't afford the good ones. Hey, have you guys had your Corona today? Have you guys drank your Corona today? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We had a couple alternatives. <laughs> But make sure you guys stay six feet apart at all times. <laughs> That's it. That's the, the secret to a successful marriage. <laughs> Crossing into Bloody Mary. Keep your hands to yourself. Do not touch anyone. Do not touch anyone. Don't let her know I'm here. Apparently, I'll work out this will be removed from the attraction and me. Has to discard all food and beverage. Bloody Mary. Make sure you grab your Bloody Mary. Uh, what do we drink before tailgates? Bloody Mary. <laughs> so we went through the house. Outside, a little rainy, a little bit different looking than prior years. A little bit more distance. Yeah. But still packing the stairs. Oh yeah. I thought it was funny to have these porta potties named floaters, but the slogan is actually "You float them, we tote them." <laughs> you can see how the line is shaping up here. Everyone very socially distanced. Everyone wearing masks. All right, I'm gonna go back to the van, minus the copyrighted music, so we can tell you all about our experience. So we wrapped with Bloody Mary, the 13th floor. Um, they typically run three themes, and if you caught any of the beforehand when we were walking around the queue area, they were talking about La Llorona and uh, Clown and stuff. That was last year's themes. They do need to update the uh, piped-in audio that's outside, because uh, this year there was one consistent theme. They're still uh, what would essentially amount to three haunts inside so there's rooms that are broken up if you guys have been here before yeah uh, but all three are uh, essentially all tied to uh, Bloody Mary um, there are a little bit less than half of the actors that have been in the haunt in prior years and that's because of uh, regulations uh, due to COVID and what they can do and can't do um, but just to talk about COVID for a little bit because I think leading into this we were uh, talking up in our prior Halloween videos really uh, specific to uh, what's the haunt season going to look like and how can you be safe in a haunt and, and things like that right this was actually really done well it was yeah everybody has a mask on uh, all of the workers that lead you in the queue uh, once you get one the queue outside is all stickered for six feet apart and then the queue inside has X's marked for six feet spacing as yeah. well before you get in and we did not one time run into another group that was in front of us or behind us yeah or we, we had the how the run of the house essentially to ourselves and it they've really spaced things out to design it that way this year um, having less actors um, you know for what they've made up it for what they've lacked in quantity this year they've more than made up in quality of, of scares so yep. some of the actors had uh, multiple instances of coming at you and scaring you yes and if you've been to 13th floor Jacksonville before and we've been here many times and we're no full disclosure we have paid for tonight so this is not a sponsored video uh, but we do know the folks that run uh, the attraction here we've been uh, you know kind of like lights on and uh, you know through the house multiple times in the past so mm -hmm. um, kind of know like where the boo holes are and where the scares are going to come from but not tonight no. so uh, where the the boo holes are some of the noises uh, you know the scare effects that would go off or triggers uh, still kind of go off but there's but, nobody there yeah you look for that and you're like oh no and then all of a sudden something on the other side is jumping at you yeah. and you're like whole oh, crap <laughs> they may not be there in the boo hole but they are there somewhere else yeah um, so last year uh, in our video we'll put a link to it up here was a uh, theme to get in a clown which clown was kind of like we called nickel wise he's not Pennywise mm -hmm. because Pennywise is an IP and you know yeah. we don't do IP things but uh, it, they had a clown that came down at one point in the uh, attraction and uh, you know kind of like animatronic that you would laugh at or mm -hmm. maybe you'd be scared at you know if you're scared of clowns but 
uh, while your attention is focused there, we get like basically like double or triple scared from other uh, directions. Live actors, yeah. yeah. Scare <laughs> actors. Uh, I thought it was a great event. Um, they've been doing consistent deals online, so if you join their uh, Fright Club and things, you get text messages and uh, emails to alert you. Like general admission tickets were running thirteen dollars mm -hmm. uh, when the, the when they initially went on sale. And I think, you know, if you wanted a uh, fast pass, which is what we did, it was like another $10. And then they have basically cut the line altogether and you just go right right in. And those were like another 10 bucks, I think, on top of it. So yeah. um, I, I enjoyed myself. So this was a kickoff to haunt, uh, season? haunt season. I can only hope that as far as safety goes, the rest of the haunts that we go to um, through haunt season would be um, as safe as what as, we experienced here yeah. today. Because I thought that this was really uh, well done. So 13th floor, uh, Jacksonville and the corporation really put a lot of uh, forethought into how they can make things safe and still maintain scares because there's still plenty of scares as well. Yes. So sorry we didn't film anything inside tonight. That's not what tonight was all about. Tonight was more about enjoying the event. Um, if you do want to see walkthroughs of what it looks like in the house, you can click some of our prior links or prior videos that we've done at 13th floor and we'll put them in the description down below for you guys to check out. Um, but uh, happy haunt season, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. <laughs> Treat others the way you want I'm to be sorry, treated. I'm just like, <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. We'll see you.